Today, I'm going to show you a complete beginner's guide of the Microsoft Surface Laptop, a Copilot Plus PC. I'm going to show you some of my favorite tips, tricks, and hidden features allowing you to leave this video as an expert. Let's get started. On the front of the box here, we've got the Microsoft logo. And on the side here, it says Microsoft Surface Laptop with some pull tabs to open it up and then a picture of it on the side there. On the back here, you have all the specs for this Surface Laptop. It's a 13.8 inch screen. It's got Windows 11 Home. It includes the power supply. It's the seventh edition. And um, let's go ahead and open it up. You can see at the bottom here, it's in partnership with Microsoft and Windows 11 running. And then all the specs right here the Snapdragon X Plus, 16 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabytes. So let's go ahead and open up this Surface for the very first time. I'm just gonna go ahead and rip off the connection there. And I'm able to lift the box open. And wow, this box is nice. It, it has a little hinge on it. So it doesn't completely detach, as you can see there. Um, and you're presented with a pull tab. You've got the Surface laptop, front here, square and center. You can pull it up. I'll go ahead and set this to the side for now. And then inside, we've got some instructions. So we can open it up just like that. And we have all of our regulatory information, everything we need to know about the computer itself, kind of like a quick start guide, um, all in paper there. And then we've got the charger, we've got the brick. We can go ahead and undo the packaging there. Um, it looks like it ripped, but didn't rip all the way. So we'll go ahead and try peeling this off one more time. So we can see here, just getting the paper off is a little difficult, but we got it off. We're good to go there. So we can take the other end of the cable and there's a little pull strap, a little paper, and we can rip that off and plug it up just like this. So that's how we plug in the power adapter. We plug this into the wall and we plug this into our laptop to charge it. So that's there. And it looks like that's all that's in the box there. There's nothing else here. It's just support for the laptop. We can go ahead and put the box to the side and then open up the laptop. Now that we've opened the box, we can go ahead and open the laptop for the very first time. It's got this pull tab. And the paper just rips off just like that. And we've got the laptop itself. Let's take a look at our inputs and outputs. We've got a headphone jack on the left side, a USB port, a USB A port, and then two USB C ports right here on the side. There's nothing there. And then here we've got the port where we charge the Surface computer itself. So you just slide the charger in there. And that's all that's on the outside of the laptop. So this is a really neat color here. It's nice and reflective right here, as you can see. Let's go ahead and open it for the first time. And just like that, it boots up with the Windows logo. We can take the paper off. It's loading and we get our first boot. This is exciting as we check out the Copilot Plus P PC for the first time with Windows 11 and all of the software. It's gonna take us through the setup process and I'll walk you through that. This is just a moment to get started here. So just a moment as it loads the computer software for the very first time. We've got our full-size keyboard right here with our function row and the keys and this massive trackpad. And it has a nice color here. This is what the trackpad looks like. The color of the trackpad matches the keys of the keyboard. So it has a nice contrast here where there's this lighter color of aluminum here on the this actual build and then a dark gray color of the keys and the trackpad itself. It looks really nice. And here we have it. We got their, uh, the audio sound there, the welcome sound, the Windows logo. And first up, it would like to know our language. So we can go ahead and select English. We're in the United States, or if you have a different language, you can go ahead and select your language and then click yes. You've got the option right here in the lower right that says to yes. set that up your device using a screen reader, turn on narrator by pressing Windows plus control plus enter. So For more accessibility features, 
Press Windows plus U, or select the Accessibility icon in the bottom corner. So we've got Accessibility Options. You, if you want to, right here, you can click on Accessibility Options and turn on the magnifier, contrast themes, narrator, voice assistant, on-screen keyboard, sticky keys, filter keys, and then we can, of course, adjust the volume level that we want to. Right now it's on 37. We can move it up to 50 or however high we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and select English and I'm not gonna turn on any accessibility features, but if you need them, they're right here underneath this box in the lower right section where it says accessibility. So we'll go ahead and say yes to the English language and we'll move forward with setting this Windows 11 Copilot Plus PC up for the very first time. So now it wants to know, is this the right country or region? We're currently in the United States. So I'll go ahead and select yes. We are. If you have a different region, you can go ahead and select that. Next up, is this the right keyboard layout or input method? If you are if you also use another keyboard layout, you can add that next. So you'll go ahead and select your keyboard layout. For us, this is the US, so we'll go ahead and select the US, and then we'll click yes. If you have a different keyboard, you can go ahead and select a different keyboard, um, and that will match your computer layout. So I'll go ahead and say yes, I'll click on that. And now it asks us, do we want to add a second keyboard layout? So if you switch between multiple languages or multiple keyboard layouts, you can add a second one um, and make it really easy to switch between the two. I'm gonna go ahead and click the skip button, this blue button right here. I'll go ahead and skip it. But if you wanna add an additional layout, you can press this thin text right here that says add layout, and then you can do that. But I'll go ahead and skip it for now, and it loads it up. And next up, it wants to connect to our Wi-Fi network. So you'll need internet in order to do things like surfing the web and updating your apps and downloading things. So you'll need to connect to a wireless network nearby in order to do this successfully. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this off screen. I'm gonna type in my Wi-Fi password um, off screen to keep it secure here and I'll go ahead and hit the next button and it's going to go ahead and process my Wi-Fi network is loading here it's checking network requirements and it's successfully connected we're connected it's secured and um, we're good to go so I can go ahead and hit this next button this blue next button right here at the very right corner of the screen on the bottom and then we can move forward so next up it's checking for updates Updates are a critical part of having software and computers. You'll want to make sure you're on the latest network and latest updating, updated software to remain secure and have the greatest new features. So next up, it says we need to review the license agreement. So we'll have to accept this in order to use the Microsoft product. You've got all of the agreement details. You can scroll through and read those. Um, in order to use the Microsoft computer. So we'll go ahead and hit accept and we'll move forward. And now it wants us to name our device. So make it ours with a unique name that we can recognize when connecting it from to other devices. So I'll go ahead here and type in app find and we'll go ahead and move on. I'll misspell it there, app find, and now we'll hit next. So this is nice. Now it just is setting up. It says just a moment, but that name is important. So when other computers see you on the net, on the network, you'll be able to identify which computer is which if you want to send files or communicate to it wirelessly through the network. And you'll also see that name and your system files throughout your directory. So really cool software implementations that they have there. So it's faded to black here. We're on a black screen and we're almost ready to log on to Windows for the very first time. Um, looks like it's kind of like rebooting or resetting up here. I'm not sure why it just went to a black screen yet, but it just restarted. So it's restarting. We got the Windows logo and it's booting up. So it did a recycle, it's restarting, and we'll go ahead and continue the setup process after that restart. And um, we've got this loading bar right here. It's more like a circle, a loading circle. So it's proceeding with the next steps and allowing us to um, get set up for the first time on Windows 11. So we're back at the screen where it says just a moment and it's processing. It's got a circular rotation and more circular objects right here that are loading in and we'll be able to continue the setup process momentarily. So this does take, you know, a few minutes to get through all the different features on your Copilot Plus PCs, but now it's checking for updates. It may need to install an update, which could take additional minutes um, that we'll need to set aside so it can do all of the, the updating. So let's see where we are now. Next up, we're getting you the latest features. So check out what your new Copilot Plus PC is capable of while you wait. So the Windows update is in process. This can take a while, around 30 minutes. 
please keep your PC on and plugged in. So while this is happening, there are three steps. Step one is downloading. Um, it doesn't say what step two is and it doesn't say what step three is, but the key uh, thing that we don't want to happen here is we don't want the computer to die during the update. So let's go ahead and plug up our connector and charge this little device. So this is what the charger looks like. We just opened it up inside of the packaging. And all you have to do to plug up the charger is just, it magnetically attaches to the side of the computer. So all you do is just let the two talk to each other just like that. You just insert it into the slot and it magnetically attaches. You can pull it out and push it right back in. And now you take this other end and you plug this into your, your wall. So I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to plug this into the wall. And we are good to go. We've got power and it is currently charging the laptop. So just like that, all we had to do is plug it in and we can see that it's charging with this light indicator right here on the side. Once that's lit up, you are good to know that the power has been delivered. So now that we've plugged in the device, we know it's not gonna die. It's good to go, it's downloading the software. And again, oh, this whole process can take around 30 minutes. So just relax, go get a cup of coffee, go get a drink. Um, and you know, you don't need to sit in front of the computer and watch all of this happen. And it looks like our charger fell, so I'm gonna go on the other side of the room here and grab it one more time and plug it right back up. So it just magnetically attaches there and we are good to go. So, um, yeah, you don't need to sit here at this screen. You can walk away while the Windows update is in progress. Um, so right now we're at 20% in terms of downloading. It does take a while. Let's take a look at what we can do with the Windows Copilot Plus PCs. I'm going to skip to the very first one and we'll walk through these. So the Copilot key instantly access your everyday AI, which stands for augmented or not augmented artificial intelligence, everyday AI companion, artificial intelligence, jumpstart your productivity and creativity with Copilot gets answers to your questions or create something new with just a few words. So we can take a look at the keyboard and this is not just any normal keyboard. We have a brand new button on the keyboard right here, which is a Copilot key, which allows us to access our Copilot software. So we'll check this out as soon as we download the latest software updates, but this is a brand new key. You just press that and you can instantly access the AI companion and access all of the AI features of the Copilot Plus PC. So a very exciting update to the Windows lineup. When you have a Copilot Plus PC, it comes with a Copilot key, which gets you access to the AI companion. Very similar before to how we had a Windows key to access things like the start menu or to lock the, the computer or do additional commands. You'll be able to use the Copilot Plus PC um, features just by pressing the key, the Copilot key on the keyboard. So really exciting updates that they have there. Let's take a look and see what else is new. Next up, Co-Creator lets your imagination paint the picture. So you can draw a quick sketch or a quick diagram and use Co-Creator inside of Paint and it will automatically turn your sketch or your drawing into a real image. So you can see here, there's a doodle or a sketch on the left side and then Co-Create just made it a real photo. Really cool, really awesome software that they have there. We'll test that out in a minute. We can craft striking visuals with Image Creator and Photos. So the Image Creator inside of Photos will allow us to type in a command and then generate images. And we get a set of unique images and it uses um, artificial intelligence to create these images and create various different styles for us to select. And AI is pretty powerful and it's all powered in this Copilot Plus PC. What else do we have? We can express yourself with Windows Studio effects. We can enhance your meetings, calls, and more with new creative effects and filters so you can work or chat with confidence. Explore new Windows Studio effects and quick settings. So we can just go to quick settings inside of our Windows Studio effects and monitor all of that. Next up, we can translate and caption audio and video in real time. Live captions help make content accessible so you can understand speakers easily and keep the conversation going. You just open live captions anytime from quick settings. Really cool software that they've created there. So if you're on a video call, you can live caption it in real time and do translation that way. Next up, our last thing that they have here, this is coming soon and not available on this release, 
but it is an interesting feature. It's called Windows Recall. Quickly find things you've seen on your PC. So you can find documents or previous emails or previous documents or websites just by searching for it. And what it does is it takes screenshots while you're using your computer and then stores those in a database which will allow you to search for that content at a later date. Check out today's sponsor, Rakuten, where you can get a $30 bonus today when you sign up using the link in the description, appfind.org slash Rakuten. You can shop at your favorite stores with over 3,500 stores to check out, and you install the plugin, create an account on Rakuten, and earn cash back today. It's really cool that you can come here and get paid to shop, and of course, you can earn your $30 bonus today using the link in the description. This helps out the AppFind channel a lot, so check out today's sponsor, Rakuten, using the link appfind.org slash Rakuten. So if you ever need to review something that you remember, um, all you have to do is just search recall for it, and if you saw it on your PC, your PC is constantly taking screenshots of what you see, and it will remember um, once you type in that command that you know you wrote a document about um, um, you know, turtles or different um, colleges or whatever you saw on your PC, whatever you do on your PC, it will remember what you do. And then if you need to reference it in the future, you'll be able to search that. So this has been a pretty hot topic. Um, this is coming out later. It's coming soon. It's not available right now. But once this drops, they are tightening the security protocols. They're making Windows Hello required. So you'll need to activate the Windows Hello camera in order to access any of the database requirements. That way, you know, it knows that it's you and um, other people can't access and see what you do on your computer. So there's a lot of privacy issues with the Windows Recall feature, but they are working on it. They're working on it to make it better. And it didn't launch or make it into launch. They actually recalled this feature and the irony there with this being called the Windows Recall. Um, but they're, they're working on fixing the security bugs and then they will roll that out at a later date. So we can see here with this updating process, it does take a while. Um, so it looks like, you know, updating and setting up your PC for the first time can take around 45 to 50 minutes just to get started because it has to download this update process. It has to actually install the update and then you have to set up all the different little accounts and stuff. So this is a full, full blown mission here in order to get this computer set up for the very first time. It's not like you can turn it on and be good to go in 15 minutes because the update is required. There's no way to get around this update. So we can see we're at 98% of it downloading the update and we're almost good to go. We'll see what step number two is and that's going to be an exciting step because it's progress and we'll be that much closer to getting our Copilot Plus PC powered on and can demo some features and take a look at what's new and what's cool on this latest piece of hardware. So we're at 98%. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to let it finish downloading and then I'll resume it once we're on step two and three. All right, we're on step two. Step two is installing and this is going lightning fast. We're already at 55% and it's been about 15 seconds. So it looks like it can install this very quickly and we don't have to wait a lot. So the biggest time consumed here the, that we had was step one, which was downloading the actual software. Now it's installing the update. We're about at 60% and we're almost ready to go on to step three, which is really exciting. So we can check out all of these Copilot features, the Copilot Plus plus PC has a bunch of new features. So can't wait to check them out. We're at 62% with the installation progress and we'll resume once we're on step three. All right, our software is almost finished installing. Just a moment here as the loading bar that circular rotates over and over again. We are almost good to go with installing the software. And then we'll be that much closer to using our Copilot Plus PC. I can say though, we are waiting a few, few minutes here. It's not an instant boot. So um, we just have to patiently wait as this installs and then we'll be good to go. Um, so just a moment. All right, our computer has turned to black. It's typically restarting and rebooting. Maybe we'll see a Windows logo anytime soon here and we'll be ready to use our brand new Copilot Plus PC for the first time. And there it is, the Windows lo logo. So system updates are underway. Um, I didn't get to finish reading that whole message, but this is, of course, 
the update process. So system updates are underway. Please keep your device on and plugged in. So as we said before, the most important part is that the battery is connected, the battery charger, the power cable, the power adapter is plugged into the wall and plugged into your laptop because you do not want your laptop to die while it's updating. That could possibly corrupt things and mess up your whole setup process. So system updates are underway. Please keep your device on and plugged in. All right, our computer's restarting here. We've got the Windows logo and this black screen, and hopefully our update installs successfully and we'll be able to proceed with installing and setting up this machine for the very first time. So it does take a while with the setup process, with it to download the update, with it to install the software. Now it's rebooting and I feel like we're on that final third phase where we can actually use the software and check out all of the new AI features. The um, Artificial intelligence baked into this machine as a Copilot Plus PC that has all of the interesting features we just reviewed. And here we are just staring at the Windows logo, waiting for it to proceed and allowing us to move forward with using the software. So we'll be there momentarily as we sit here. It looks like it just flashed and we're almost ready to go um, as it processes and manages this new software update on this machine. Um, and then again, we've got this loading bar that's new. It's a loading circle. It's starting to load. And this software allows us to use um, artificial intelligence to you know, improve our lives and to be able to press that co-pilot key and access AI at our fingertips. So now it says getting devices ready. That happened pretty fast. We're at 100% and we're back at the screen where it says just a moment with the circling loading screen and the dots. So. We're just, we're so close to being able to use all this technology and we'll be ready to go in just a moment as it loads and processes the software update. But going back to artificial intelligence, being able to use this stuff day after day and into your, your, your current routine um, is really handy and I'm really excited for more people to get access to artificial intelligence. All right, let's go ahead and proceed with this setup process. It wants us to unlock the Microsoft experience. We'll have to sign in with our Microsoft account and customize preferences, but this is the best in-class email and calendar, things like Outlook and Windows. Accelerate your device setup, help your PC um, be secure and control privacy and subscription preferences across devices, personalize Windows experience, and access Microsoft 365 for free. So we can go ahead and sign in there are options um, for sign in, sign in options if you want uh, to use face, fingerprint, pen, or security key, or if you forgot your, your username. Um, so I'll go back. Today's video is sponsored by a children's book titled Enough, A Best Self Adventure. You can purchase this book using the Amazon link in the comments and description below. This is perfect if you have kids or if you have family members and you want them to live their happiest childhood, you can check out Enough, A Best Self Adventure using the Amazon link in the description below. You can see the incredible illustrations alongside of the text here. So you can go ahead and check out this book titled Enough, A Best Self Adventure, perfect for young children in the description below and purchase your very own copy today. I'll just go ahead and hit cancel um, and then we'll try again here. So, oops, let's go back, back. And now we'll just type in our Microsoft account and I'm gonna do this off camera really quick. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go ahead and log into my Microsoft account. All right, so I've logged in with my Microsoft account. Now it wants me to use my face to sign in faster and more securely. So I can go ahead and say yes, set this up with the blue button, or I can skip for now. I'll go ahead and skip for now. Now it wants us to create a PIN number, and this is what will activate Windows Hello and also allow you to log in instantly without typing in your password. So I'll go ahead and take this off camera. I'll enter a PIN. and I'll press OK. So I've entered a PIN, it's processing, it's saving that PIN number to the computer, and that will allow me to authorize you know, various things on this machine. So it's loading, it's processing, and we're almost good to go. Really exciting times here for our software. So now it wants us to choose privacy settings for the device. We have location, giving access to that, the Find My Device feature, and the diagnostic data, along with inking and typing and tailored experiences. So we can go ahead and accept our privacy settings. 
And then coming soon, we'll be able to quickly find things you've seen with recall, find documents, images, websites, and more. Snapshots stay on your PC with built-in security, and I'm always in control to be able to modify the settings. So I'll go ahead and hit next. And it's loading up here. It's processing, and we're almost good to go with setting up this computer. So welcome back, Justin. Um, it wants us to know we have backups on previous PCs. We'll bring over different settings. Um, and I can come here, I, I can just go to more, and I'm gonna set this up as a new PC rather than a backup PC. So we'll set up as a new PC. And I'll press set up as a new PC. That way we get a fresh clean start rather than restoring everything. Getting things ready for you. You can see the wallpaper in the background there for Windows 11. It looks beautiful. And we are almost good to go with our hopefully last circular uh, loading zone here. Now it wants us to customize the experience. So select all the ways you plan to use your device to get personalized tips, ads, and recommendations within Microsoft Experiences. You can change this in settings. So for me, I'm gonna use this PC for creativity. And you've got options for development, build delightful apps, websites, and tools for the world, entertainment, watch videos, browse the web, connect on social media, gaming, play and discover games, keep up with new releases, school, take notes, write essays, collaborate on projects, creativity, the one I selected, bring your ideas to life with photos and videos, business, track expenses, manage your expenses, chat with customers, and family, connect with family members, edit, sa sa ed edit safety settings, give everyone their own profile on this device. So I'll go ahead and hit accept there. You can also skip it if you wanna press the skip button and you can use your phone from your PC. If you have an Android phone, you can scan the QR code or if you have an iPhone, um, you can skip and set it up with a phone link later. So I'll go ahead and hit skip um, and we'll set this up later. And then we'll see what else is available. We can keep your phone's photos safe with OneDrive. We can turn on camera backup in the OneDrive app. We'll just scan the QR code, sign into our account, and turn on the camera backup. So I'll go ahead and hit skip for this. We don't need this right now. But a really cool handy feature if you want to back up everything on your phone. And then you're in luck. You've landed a free trial of Microsoft 365 Family. Um, we've got premium office apps. You can share your subscription, and um, it's accessible anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and decline this. I already have Microsoft Office purchased, and I don't need the $365 or 365 subscription. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and decline Microsoft 365. And next up, we can get cloud storage with Microsoft 365, 100 gigabytes of cloud storage, secure ad-free email, and access to service experts. If you want this, you can hit the blue continue button, but I'm going to go ahead and decline it. You get Word, Excel, and PowerPoint in one app. Um, the mobile app for Microsoft 365. You can scan the QR code and get access to that now. But I'll go ahead and hit next and see what else is available so we can get started. Where our device comes with free Xbox Game Pass Unlimited. I'm gonna go ahead and skip for now, but if you want to claim this, you can press the blue claim button and get hundreds of games, exclusive, exclusive discounts, includes EA Play and Browse for Catalog. I'll go ahead and skip this for now. We'll see what else is available on our Microsoft device. And we're good to go. We get a nice satisfying mode or satisfying sound as it finishes up. And we're presented with our desktop. This is so exciting. We have our Windows 11 desktop on the Copilot Plus PC. And this looks beautiful. So you can see on the top here, we've got the recycle bin and Microsoft Edge. We've got the wallpaper. You can see the weather here in the lower left, and then this new portal here for good evening. You've got your Windows button right here where you can get, get access to all your various different apps. You've got a few selected apps, the search bar, and a few selected apps right here in the lower bar or lower section of the screen. And then you've got your taskbar options and preferences on the right here. Things like Wi-Fi, sound, and battery, and more. And then of course the clock. So really cool features that they've got baked right here into Windows 11. So I'm curious, this is a Copilot Plus PC. What are some Copilot Plus PC things that we can do? But let's check out the various apps that are currently in this taskbar at the bottom. So we've got Microsoft 365 Office. We've got Microsoft Store. We've got Microsoft Edge, which is your web browser. You've got Windows, the File Explorer. 
you've got Copilot. Copilot right there in the middle of the screen. That's where you access all of your AI goodies. And then over here, you've got desktop options. So that's what's in the bottom there of the screen. I'm just gonna go ahead here and wants us to set up our OneDrive folder. I'll go ahead and do this later. I'll press the X button and that will make it go away. So this is a Copilot Plus PC. Let's check out what the Copilot Plus button does. This is the Copilot key. We took a look at it during the setup process. When you press this, a new option comes up. Copilot. This is a brand new app for Microsoft, which allows you to use their AI, their artificial intelligence, and it says, hey, good evening. Let's get started with your conversation. So this is your Copilot PC. You press this button anywhere on your computer and you instantly get access to what's like a chat bot that you can interact with. Let's ask it what we can do together. So that's the preset thing that's already typed in here. What can we do together? We press enter and it just starts spitting out information right here. This is Copilot. There are lots of things we can do together, it says. Here are some ideas. Learn something new together, like a new language or a fun fact. Get writing assistance, like proofreading, editing, and brainstorming ideas. Chat about your favorite TV shows, movies, books, or music. Ask me to explain complex subjects. Get help with your homework or work. Ask me to write stories, poems, or song lyrics. Anything you'd start with? Let's say, write a poem about Copilot plus PCs. And we'll press enter. Certainly, here's a wisdom poem about Copilot plus PCs. And it started spitting out, and this is a very long poem. I'll go ahead and read the first verse. In the digital realm where code weaves its dance, two entities meet a curious chance. Copilot, the muse with lines of pure thought, and PCs, the vessels where circuits are raw. All right, so you can use it to write poems, you can use it um, to ask questions about anything. Um, and just like this, you can chat with Copilot, and it's really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Microsoft Edge button at the very bottom and open up the Microsoft Edge app. So I'll go ahead and hit continue, and we'll continue without this data and then we'll continue and start browsing. So at any point in time, if I want to bring up Copilot again, I just press the Copilot button and it brings it up. So it can be in another app, I can be anywhere in the system. And say I'm doing a research paper about um, turtles. I can say, what are some fun facts about turtles for my group? research paper. So, so just type this in and then you press enter and we'll see what it provides. So certainly sea turtles are fascinating creatures and then it goes on to list unique autonomy, diverse diets, shell variations, migration and longevity. So you've got a complete artificial intelligence assistant right at your hand with this co-pilot button. And anytime you want, you just come over here, you can press, you can do a new chat. Um, and you can talk to Copilot and get started with your conversation. They've got a little notebook mode over here, which allows you to um, add your content and your notes right here built into the Copilot app if you wanna take notes while you're using it. And this is AI, artificial intelligence, your ability to come in here and chat to a chat bot and it communicate with you and allow you to um, use the software and provide tips and uh, different advice for you. So you can talk to this AI chat bot anytime you want just by pressing the Copilot button. And also it's in the, in the bottom right here, um, this little Copilot Plus, Copilot, the Copilot application itself. You just click on it if you don't want to use the button and it opens up just like that. It's a really cool software that they built right here into um, the Windows 11 software on this Copilot Plus PC. We can see right here at the very top, you can change the conversation styles. Right now it's on balance for everyday informed chats. You can move it to creative, start an original or imaginative chat, or you can go to precise, start a concise chat useful for fun finding. So they've added all kinds of new features to the Copilot plus PCs. And one of the cool features they've added is the studio effects down here in your webcam. If you click on this, there's a brand new interface for studio effects in the webcam. So you can see the camera in itself set up. You've got things like portrait light, portrait blur. We can go ahead and blur the background. You've got standard blur. 
You've got portrait light, turn that on. You can create a filter that's illustrated. Um, you can create an animated filter. You can add that on. Only one of these filters for creative can be on at the same time. And we can also add a watercolor filter. So just like this, we can modify the settings of our webcam um, using this technology here. They also have an eye contact standard, an eye contact teleprompter, and an automatic framing check for the studio effects inside of the Copilot Plus PCs in Windows 11 on your device here. So all you have to do is just click the little icons in the bottom here and then go over to studio effects. And of course, we love Windows because they're touchscreen and you can move things around. So want to promote your business in front of tech enthusiasts? You can sponsor AppFind to get a shout out on a video or even your own dedicated video. To learn more, see our rate card and request a sponsorship. You can click our link in the description to Passion Fruit to learn more and inquire about a sponsorship. This has been a complete beginner's guide on the Copilot Plus PCs. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to let us know what your favorite feature of the Copilot Plus PCs are in the comments below. And be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And we can't wait to make the next technology video for you. We really appreciate you watching and we love making these kinds of videos for you and can't wait to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.